Hi friends, in this video we are going to create a live streaming and video content website. You can add paid live streaming and paid video content on this website and the theme used here is a free theme and you can see this is the website which we are created. You can live stream any type of videos or articles or broadcast or anything in your computer you can just uh, make live stream on this website with the help of a software and it's fr totally free the software is totally free you can integrate YouTube directly to our website so Ali after that one year exile from the Saudi Pro League go neck and neck at the top of the table with Ron Cristiano Ronaldo smoke into the back of the nets you can add free and paid channels on this website as you can see here we can add free channels and you can add the paid channels like free shows or anything you can add there in the name of channels you can add like this a uh, stand-up comedy football highlights podcast or in any type of uh, channel you can just add here and you can live stream it and you can see this is one of the channel on our website and you can see the paid channel option is available so if the visitor or the customer uh, they need to just pay us then only they will get the channel or they will get that live cast and we can also add video on demand uh, on this website and you can see user must have log to watch the video and the next option is you can add the stage shows directly on our website and if you are uh, conducting a live stage show then you can just directly telecast the, your shows on our website and you can make it paid or free your option you can add it on our website and you can see all the latest videos here and all the football related website uh, related videos will come on our website automatically we can set up here and on the broadcast you section here any visitor can create a channel and they can broadcast their video on our website this is a very beautiful option and you can see here on this page we can add that option and the next option is my account area there the user can see their account and they can just see their purchased events and their orders and all the details they can see here and they can see once the visitor is logged in they can go to the broadcast area and now they can see their channel there they can make it turn on and they can start streaming their channel on our website so if they are turning on and they can directly go live with the webcam or they can use any third party app so now we are using a free open source software obs and this you can install on your windows computer or ios or mac os you can install it and you can upload your video and you can make live stream this video on our website uh, on our channel on your channel you can just see the channel and you can see uh, the video is live so you can create that and you can also add different type of uh, things on this software you can upload the images here and it will live stream on the website if you upload an image on this software and you can broadcast it on our website so I am just adding an image here as you are seeing in the video now the same image is showing on our website okay you can see here it's live and all these things you can see here and now you can add different type of if you want to share your screen on the live telecast you can do that and you can add the color schemes or color source 
so if you want to show some color on your channel you can just do that and you can share your game plan and game details you can just share on the live stream all these things you can do on your website itself so you can actually this you can do on the youtube live the same thing you can do it on your website and this is the mobile version of our website and this is a beautifully optimized mobile phone website and if a customer visit through mobile they will they can also watch the streaming like this as you are seeing in the video they can see the video like this and they can see the youtube videos available they can first to a second here. for cristiano ronaldo and for al nasser al nasser okay friends to create this website first you need a domain and hosting so when you are choosing a hosting plan make sure you need a good hosting plan go to the premium web hosting or cloud startup these two web hostings are good so you can choose any of this hosting plan don't go for the ordinary plans because if you are using this type of website it will slow down and it will not work and you, most of the time you will get crashed so you can choose any good plan and choose for the 12 month plan the period you can choose for 12 month then you can select the payment and you can complete the payment if you are buying the domain for one year you will get a domain free hosting for one year you will get a domain okay guys now this is the control panel of our hosting now you can install wordpress on your hosting and install wordpress and once you install this is your default wordpress website now we can customize it and go to the wordpress dashboard and click on themes and click on add themes and here you can install a free theme install the theme here as you are seeing in the video you can install and activate the theme and it's, it will take some time to get activate once the theme is activated you will get another pop up message like install the bloxy companion it's a plugin along with the theme so you can install that also just install that plugin as you are seeing in the video you can install it once the plugin is installed you will get a new menu here there you can see the starter sites and the theme options here now go to the starter site section here you can import some demo for your website so instead of starting from the scratch you can just import the demo so choose the first demo itself you can choose the first demo and click on the elementor page builder and click on next and click on next and you can install the demo once the demo is imported you can go to your website and you can see everything works fine you can see our website is imported now go to the wordpress dashboard and go to the plugin section you can add some free and paid plugins first you we can install free plugins and all the paid plugin links i will give in the description box below you can get it from there okay first you need to install woocommerce and second you need to install wp stream and this is also a free plugin for live streaming and you can install the social login plugin this is for the social login like you can use the google and facebook login and you can install some premium plugins like elementor pro and the social login pro and wp automatic all these three plugins are premium plugins so the link for that i will give in the description box below 
okay once you installed all the plugins go to the plugin section and select the inactive section and you can activate all the plugins together you can install all the plugins together and a WooCommerce setup window will pop up so you can just select all these options as you are seeing in the video it's super easy you can just select it and you can just set up automatically set up the WooCommerce pages right now you go to the WooCommerce settings and you can set up the WooCom basic WooCommerce settings and this is totally you can super easy you can just do it by yourself you can change the currency and you can set all these things here and you can check the shipping options we don't need shipping options uh, so our website is not for a physical product so you don't need to do it actually this is from an old video okay you can see the next option the payment option and here you can enable your payment options and the next open options is account and privacy option you can also enable and disable all the options as you are seeing in the video all these options you can enable or disable according to your business model okay once you make the changes you can go to the wp stream option and wp stream quick start on that option you will get an email you can register for a wp stream account and you can just install you can just follow the quick start setup you can just select the you can create a first uh, your ftv channel so you can just add your channel name here and click on create channel okay now your free channel is created you can also add paid channel on the settings now you can set up all these things you can add the descriptions and all the categories and you can change the name of your channel you can add that you can add description you can add the actors categories etc if you want to add a new category you can add your new category there it's so simple you can just try it and you can add new actor tags and you can add a featured image for your channel and you can just update it now if you want to turn on the channel you can turn on the channel and you can start broadcasting on that channel just turn on once the channel is turned on you can visit the channel here visit the channel and now we can check how we can stream a video on this channel you can see the channel name here just changing the channel url now you can directly use webcam or we can use obs so you can view the channel you can share the channel all the options available on the dashboard itself okay guys now we can use the external streaming app obs so to get this you can go to this website and you can download it, it, it it's totally free you can just directly check out it and you don't need to pay anything once you complete the checkout you will get the app or the software you can install it on your pc you can install on your computer obs studio click on next click on next and you can install it and wait for some time to get installed the software once the software is installed you can click on the startup window 
and click on next and all these options you can change according to your preference you can change all these options and here you can use the custom option and here you need to add your server and the secret key so go to the streaming option now you will get the server id and the stream key so just copy these two things and paste it on the software you can just copy and paste it on the software and you can complete it click on next and make sure it's is and now the software is connecting with our website now our website is connected with the obs software now you can start streaming videos or anything on our website so apply click on apply settings and you can just upload some videos here you can upload your videos or podcast or whatever thing you want to stream on your website you can just upload it and you can click on ok you can use your own video don't use for any copyright video so sometime you will get blocked so you can use your own videos for this demo purpose i am just trying to show you all okay now everything works fine now you can see all the settings of this software here you can see all the streaming options and all these things you can see here now you can see our account information this is the wp stream option you can see their pricing and if you use the free trial account you can you will get a if you confirm the your email account you will get 5.5 gb streaming data free you can see here and if you have any any if you want any support you can contact the support ticket just create the support ticket and you can contact them now uh, another option is how we can import the youtube videos to our website go to the automatic settings as you are seeing in the video here on this plugin you have lot of options but on for this website we are just discussing about the youtube uh but if you want to integrate all these options you can just try it uh, now we are using the youtube options so go to the youtube settings you can also integrate instagram so guys now we are going to integrate the youtube settings for that you need otp sorry the api key so to go to this website console.developers dot google dot com and you can create a project there and you can see a project is creating on the console google dot com and once the project is ready you can select the project there now select the api and services option you can set up the enabled api services now you can see api and services window there there you can just search youtube here you can see the youtube api key you can see the youtube api data api version 3 you can see there now enable the youtube data api once you enable the api you can see the create credentials option you can just create the credentials you can use the public data and click on next now you can copy now a api key will be generated and you can use that api key on your plugin settings just copy the api key and paste it on the plugin settings and click on save changes once you add the api key you can go to the plugin settings again and you can see 
the new campaign option here you can select the new campaign and you can create a campaign to import the videos from YouTube to our website actually you can embed all the videos on to our website so you can add a campaign name here football highlights and you can select YouTube from the list and you can add some keywords whatever topic you, videos you want to import you can select that as you are seeing in the video you can just add all the topics like this you can add all the football related topics here okay once you add all the topics you can enable or disable all these options all these options you can make according to your preference or website your website model you can just enable or disable it you can choose the youtube search order you can select the youtube search order youtube category you can use the video license all these things you can enable or disable it youtube related options you can enable or disable it and the post template option and the open a option post type format status all these things you can just enable or you can use these posters or if you want to create for a page you can just select that and you can just enable or disable it all these things and you can use the images options here and the categories and tags option is available so you can use the categories and tag options and use the correct category for your post and if your category is not available here you can go to the post uh, section and you can create a new category there and the post filter option is available so you can enable or disable all this option on the post filter option and the rewriting and translation option is available this is all for the posters when you are importing a post from any website you can just try this and for the youtube option you can check the youtube options once you add all these things just click on publish and now your campaign is published and you can run the campaign as you are seeing in the video now your campaign is running and the videos are importing to your website easily you can use this method and after you can see the update frequency you can update it and the videos will be automatically published in a scheduled interval and it will come to our post automatically so this is for the first time we are just running the campaign now go to the post section and you can see all the posters there you can see here you can see all the posters now which we imported here so if you go to the post, post section and you can watch all the posters there you can see here you can see the video here and the comments here all the comments also imported all these things you can see here now go to the next and social login option and click on getting started and now here you can create the social login so go to the console.cloudgoogle.com and create credentials and you can select this auth client id now configure the consent screen and you can add all these things user type you can use external and now just click on create you can add the app information you can add a, your app name here you can add any name just related to your website you can add any name uh, it's super easy you can add any name and you can use a support email you can use your email id here you can use the app logo then you can use the app domain 
and the privacy policy link and the terms and conditions links all these things you can add and the additional domain you have to add your main domain so if you are using these things on your subdomain then also you need to add your main domain there then you need to add the email and click on next and click on next and save and continue and you can click on back to dashboard and you can publish the app once you publish the app you can go to the credentials section again now you can create credentials and choose the client id option and here you can use the application type as web application and give a client name you can add any name and you can use the authorized redirect url that you will get it from the plugin settings itself you can just copy it and paste it on the website you can just paste it on your website and you can click on create once the api is generated you can just copy it and you can go to the plugin settings and you can just paste the client id and client secret for the google login so once you add this thing a visitor on your website can log in with their google account like this you can create the facebook or twitter uh, tiktok all these things you can enable it but we are just trying only for google so you, once you add all these things just click on verify settings uh, once it's verified you can enable it and make sure click on save changes now go to the global settings option and you can enable it for woocommerce also so go to the global settings then you can see the woocommerce option here you can select the you can customize or you can set up the woocommerce layout there you can choose the button style all these things you can add there you can see all the woocommerce setup here woocommerce login uh, registration form and the billing layout account details button alignment all these things you can customize here and once you make the changes click on save changes and now go to the front page of your website and you can edit the demo content with the elementor page builder click on edit with elementor and you can change the basic demo images you can change it and you can upload your own images here you can change the basic demo images you can upload your own images and make sure it have a high quality image then only it will look correct on the website you can change the images here just trying to change all the images you can just change the demo images when you change an image make sure it come the correct size with the demo image so you can upload the images on the correct ratio upload your images here upload the images and you can also change the textures demo textures you can just change all the textures and if you want to delete any section you can delete it and if you want to add a new section you can add it and we can create a new section for the post so you can use it and you can add the post option from the element or page builder you can just upload the posters option here you can just drag and drop like this you can create any section and you can add all these things 
and this post option you have lot of options so you can just enable or disable all the options according to your design so if you don't want to show all this text you can just turn, turn off it here and instead of this read more we can change to watch now or watch more anything you can just add it here and you can just update it once you make the changes make sure to click on update okay now we can go to the next section and you can see these images and if you click on there you can see this is a gallery image so to change that go to the dashboard and you can see the modules here and you can see the gallery section here here you can just replace the images and you can just replace the images the gallery name which we are used on the front page is home gallery 2 so you can just delete it and you can replace your own images there you can upload your images here once you upload the images you can just click on update gallery and go to the next section and you can change the basic image here just click on the options and uh, you can edit the container just select the style and you can upload their banner image you can upload a high quality image there and you can upload it and you can upload the image once you upload the image you can see there you can now you can change all these text uh, text and if you want you can delete the unwanted items all these things you can do once you make all the changes make sure to click on update now our front page is edited now if you want to edit this header and footer section go to the customize area click on the customize tab and you can edit the logo and footer options same like this so if you want to edit the logo you can just select the logo section and you can add your logo and you can change the logo height you can adjust the color etc like this you can edit the footer section also now you can go to the dashboard again now we can see this is the menu options so you can adjust the menu here you can rearrange the menu and if you want to add some custom items to menu you can just add it all these things are super easy you can just try it okay guys like this you can also create a live streaming video on your wordpress website Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. And if you have any doubt, you can contact us on Facebook or you can just comment on the comment box below. Thank you for watching.